Welcome back to another episode of this series where we're talking about the 29 key things that I believe will get you to a million pound plus within your business within the next 12 months. As always, this episode is sponsored by IPRAC and the Luke Stays Academy. If you haven't already, go and check those websites out. Today, I want to talk about being a big fish in a small pond. And from my experience, I learned the hard way. I tried to be a little fish in a big pond. I tried to please everybody and I quite quickly ran out of steam. And I also wasn't getting the traction from the amount of effort I was putting in, which then just becomes demotivating and it stops you from doing something that could actually be very good if only you know how to execute properly. And what I mean by that is find out what your niche is. Find out what you're good at, find out what you specialize in, and then go and operate in that pond of people and become the expert within it. So for me, I believe that I have become one of the experts within the short-term rental space. I have focused on that. I give up my HMOs, my buy-to-lets, my developments, and everything else that the property industry can do. I give up some other businesses and some other you know, elements of the business that I've talked about previously that we try to do for extra revenue streams and just focused on becoming an expert in the short-term rental space. What then happened was I became a big fish in a little pond. Now, whilst the pond of short-term rentals is still very big, it's not as big as being involved in the property pond, which is obviously much bigger because I do think someone once said there's about 47 or 48 different property strategies. If you pour all those people and all those strategies into a pond, that's a very big pond. And you're trying to fish in that and trying to pick things off without really delivering a message of, we specialize in this, we're experts in this, People, your, your message just gets lost in all the noise. You know, we live in a world right now where the noise is so great. You know, even when people are going through their internet, I think something like the average person has 46 browser tabs open at any one time. It is quite easy for them to just click on one of those browsers and get distracted from what they were doing before. It's quite easy for them to pick the phone up and go onto the notifications and spend three hours looking in Facebook and Instagram. It's quite easy for somebody to ring or send a WhatsApp or one of the footy WhatsApp groups are going or the girl night out groups are going. You know, there, there's so many distractions around us right now that you as a business owner trying to get a message home to people is actually very, very, very difficult because the noise is far greater than it's ever been. You know, previously, before the, the, the dawn of the internet, you would basically either run a TV ad, you would run a newspaper ad, or you would uh, pop a leaflet through a door or a mailer through a door. That person would have no other distraction, really, whenever watching the TV and the advert comes on. You know, nowadays, you're watching the TV, should an advert come on, naturally, most people will pick their phones out of their pocket and start checking to see what their WhatsApp groups are saying, what Facebook notifications have been going on, etc., etc. You know, a leaflet through the door now doesn't even get into anybody's minds, really, unless it is really, really powerful, because as they're picking the leaflets up, they're more than likely scrolling on their phone and going through the, the noise that's happening. So you want to become a big fish in a small pond. So whatever you uh, choose, you know, whatever your, your service is, your niche, whatever your product is, whatever you're selling, uh, where your clients hide, you want to be trying to find a small pond of them and then you want to become the expert. Now, how do you do that? Obviously, uh, putting plenty of content out there, uh, things like this, you know, a video showing what you've done, explaining what you're doing, explaining how things work, uh, a lot of behind the scenes sort of footage. You'll see that across my socials. We do a lot of, you know, this is my team, this is my office, this is what we're working on. Here's some client results, here's our results, you know, whether it be financially or whether it be acquisitions or whether it just be celebrate some mini successes. What you're doing there is just building that trust with people that you know what you're talking about and you're actually not only talking the talk, but you're walking the walk. And that's how you become an expert. Then you would, you know, naturally try and go on other people's podcasts, uh, speak about your field, speak about your expertise, get quizzed on it and, and you know, host Q&As online. You can go and speak on stages. There's so many different ways that you can become an expert. And in this day and age, it's quite easy because you can launch a podcast. 
you could launch a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, you can put a TikTok channel out there. You can give value at ease by literally just turning the phone around, shooting a video exactly like I am now and delivering content on, on what you feel is and you're passionate about, you're good at, you've learned and become experienced at, you've had success in, and then naturally people will follow that are further behind than you and they will see you as the expert and then maybe reach out to you for your services, whatever that might be. Um, you know, and, and for me, I know I have definitely picked up a lot of clientele from spin-offs of my um, YouTube work, my, my podcast work, my external podcast work. That's how people come into our sales funnels and that's how we then convert them into a client depending on how it might look. Uh, I know we've got TikTok channels, we've got travel channels, we've got um, all sorts of different types of marketing going on to say we're the experts in this field come and rent from us or come and book a stay or give us your property, however that might look. So I encourage you to become an expert, choose your niche, choose your pond, find a small pond, become an expert in it, just start put, putting it out there, putting it out there, and you will get those results over time. You'll end up attracting more clients than trying to fish in a massive pond where you are not a big player or you're not an expert. As always, like, subscribe, share, uh, you know, it really, really goes a long way if you do share these episodes with friends and family or anybody that might be interested in it. And as always, if you've got any questions, just comment below and I'll get them answered for you. Take care.